What we eat plays a huge role in our overall health, especially when it comes to cancer. Did you know that there's one food that stands out as a top cancer fighter? Research shows that up to 40% of cancers can be prevented through lifestyle changes, including a healthier diet. But what exactly should you be eating to keep cancer at bay? In this video, we're going to help you find out. We'll reveal the top eight cancer fighting foods that we tested. Each one has its own unique benefits, but only one stood out as the most powerful of them all. Let's dive in. Kicking off our list is nature's candy, berries. Not only are they delicious, but they're also powerful cancer fighters. So what makes these little fruits so mighty? The secret lies in their vibrant colors. Berries are packed with antioxidants, especially flavonoids and anthocyanins. Think of these special compounds as tiny shields that protect our cells from damage that can lead to cancer. A study from the journal Cancer Research found that women with breast cancer who ate just two servings of blueberries each week had a 25% lower chance of dying from the disease. But how do berries actually work? It's all about fighting oxidative stress. This is a process in our bodies that can harm our cells and increase the risk of cancer. The antioxidants in berries help stop this damage before it even starts. Adding berries to your diet is super easy and tasty. You can sprinkle them on your morning oatmeal or cereal, mix them into yogurt, or just enjoy them as a snack on their own. Try combining different types of berries like strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries for a colorful and healthy treat. Plus, the flavonoids in berries also help reduce inflammation in the body. Less inflammation means a lower risk of cancer. So it's like berries are doing double duty to keep us healthy. Next on our countdown at number seven are leafy greens. Leafy greens can help reduce your risk of certain cancers. But which ones should you be eating? Greens like spinach, kale, and collard greens aren't just side dishes. They're packed with carotenoids, powerful antioxidants that protect our cells. These greens are like nature's multivitamin, loaded with vitamins, minerals, and fiber that support your overall health. One of the best things about leafy greens is how easy they are to add to your meals. Toss them into salads, blend them into smoothies, or saute them as a tasty side dish. Research shows that eating at least five portions of fruits and vegetables daily, including leafy greens, can lower your risk of several cancers, like stomach and colorectal cancer. But the benefits don't stop there. Eating lots of leafy greens can also help you maintain a healthy weight which is important because obesity is a risk factor for many types of cancer. These veggies are low in calories but high in nutrients, making them perfect for keeping your body strong and healthy. Leafy greens also play a crucial role in maintaining a healthy gut. The fiber in these veggies feeds the good bacteria in your digestive system, helping create a balanced gut microbiome. So how much of a difference can these greens really make? A study from the journal Antioxidants found that people with the highest levels of carotenoids in their blood had a 28% lower risk of developing certain cancers. That's a big reduction for something as simple as adding more leafy greens to your diet. At number 6 we have cruciferous vegetables. Broccoli, cauliflower, and Brussels sprouts are cancer-fighting powerhouses thanks to compounds called glucosinolates. When we eat these veggies, our bodies turn glucosinolates into isothiocyanates. These compounds are the real heroes that help protect us against cancer by stopping harmful cell growth and triggering the death of bad cells. Research shows that eating more of these vegetables can lower the risk of several types of cancer, including breast, stomach, lung, and pancreatic cancer. In fact, one study found that people who ate more than 1.5 cups of raw cruciferous vegetables each week had a 40% lower chance of getting pancreatic cancer. To get the most benefits, it's best to eat these veggies raw or lightly cooked. Boiling them for too long can reduce their cancer-fighting power. Try adding raw broccoli or cauliflower to your salads, or lightly steam some Brussels sprouts, and drizzle them with a bit of olive oil and lemon juice for a delicious side dish. Remember, eating a variety of cruciferous vegetables is key. Each one has its own mix of good-for-you compounds, 
so try to include different types in your meals throughout the week. Next on our countdown at number 5 are whole grains. Whole grains are packed with fiber, which is essential for keeping your digestive system healthy. This fiber works like a broom for your intestines, sweeping away harmful substances that could lead to colorectal cancer. You might wonder how much fiber you need. Experts recommend aiming for at least 14 grams of fiber for every 1,000 calories you eat. Some whole grain superstars include barley, quinoa, and oats. These can easily boost your fiber intake. Try swapping your regular bread for whole grain bread or choose whole grain pasta next time you cook. Even switching to brown rice instead of white rice can make a big difference. If you've heard of the Mediterranean diet, you know it includes lots of whole grains. This diet is linked to lower risks of several cancers, including colorectal and breast cancer. Remember, fighting cancer isn't just about avoiding certain foods. It's also about adding more of the good stuff to your plate. Whole grains are an easy and tasty way to do just that. Our next cancer-fighting food comes from the sea, and it's full of surprising benefits. At number 4, fatty fish. Fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, and sardines are packed with omega-3 fatty acids, which help fight inflammation that's often linked to cancer growth. But that's not all. These fish are also rich in vitamin E and selenium, two nutrients that protect your cells from damage. A study in the journal Cancers found that for every 50 grams, about 1.76 ounces of fish you eat daily, your risk of colorectal cancer goes down by 4%. It might not sound like a lot, but every little bit adds up over time. There's even more good news. Scientists have found that people who eat lots of oily fish, like sardines and trout, also have a lower chance of getting breast and liver cancers. So how can you add more fish to your meals? For breakfast, try a whole grain bagel with smoked salmon. For lunch or dinner, bake some fish with colorful Mediterranean vegetables. If you're in a hurry, canned tuna or sardines are great options. Just add them to a sandwich or sprinkle them on a salad for a quick, healthy meal. Now, moving on to number three on our list, garlic and onions. These kitchen staples are part of the allium vegetable family and have been shown to help fight cancer-causing substances. Garlic and onions contain special plant compounds called flavonoid antioxidants and organosulfur compounds. These work together to protect your cells from damage and may even slow down the growth of cancer cells. But why are garlic and onions so important? It's all about prevention. They help stop the formation of harmful substances that can lead to cancer before they even start. Plus, they're full of vitamin C, which is essential for a strong immune system. Garlic isn't just good for fighting cancer, it's also great for your heart. Keeping your heart healthy is important, especially if you're dealing with cancer or trying to lower your risk. Another bonus is that garlic can help your body get rid of toxins. The sulfur compounds in garlic support your body's natural detox system, making it easier to flush out harmful substances. Incorporating garlic and onions into your diet is easy and delicious. Add some chopped garlic or onions to your salads, soups, or stir-fries for a flavorful, cancer-fighting meal. Moving on to number two on our list, turmeric. This vibrant yellow spice is more than just a pretty color in your dishes. It contains a powerful compound called curcumin, which has incredible cancer-fighting properties. Curcumin can actually cause cancer cells to self-destruct through a process called apoptosis. But that's not all. Curcumin also helps slow down the growth of cancer cells and reduces inflammation in the body. By fighting inflammation, turmeric may create an environment that's less welcoming to cancer growth. Adding turmeric to your meals is simple. Sprinkle it into smoothies, stir it into soups for an extra kick of flavor, or mix it into scrambled eggs for a colorful breakfast. And here's a tip. Pair turmeric with black pepper to boost its effects. Black pepper contains piperine, a substance that can increase the absorption of curcumin by up to 2,000%. This means your body can make the most out of turmeric's cancer-fighting power when these two spices are combined. A study published in the journal Biomedicines found that curcumin can stop the growth of various types of cancer cells, including melanoma, breast cancer, and colon cancer. This shows just how versatile turmeric can be in fighting different forms of the disease. We've covered some powerful cancer-fighting foods so far, 
but one food stands out above the rest. Now it's time to reveal the champion of cancer-fighting foods, something simple and easy to add to your daily routine. And the winner of our cancer-fighting challenge is... Number 1. Green Tea This ancient drink has been enjoyed for centuries, and now science is revealing just how powerful it can be for our health. So, what makes green tea so special? It's packed with a super strong antioxidant called EGCG, epigallocatechin galate. EGCG can slow down tumor growth and may help prevent cancers like breast, colon, liver, and prostate cancers. A study published in the journal Current Pharmaceutical Design found that people who regularly drink green tea have a lower risk of developing certain cancers compared to those who don't. To make the most of green tea's benefits, don't use boiling water. Instead, let the water cool down a bit before pouring it over the tea leaves. This helps preserve all those beneficial antioxidants. Steep your tea for about 3-5 to five minutes to get the best results. Green tea works even better when paired with other cancer-fighting foods. Try having a cup of green tea with your berry snack, or after a veggie-filled lunch for an extra boost. Just remember, while green tea is amazing, it's not a magic cure. It's one part of a healthy diet and lifestyle. But by adding a few cups of green tea to your daily routine, you're giving your body extra support in the fight against cancer. And there you have it, the top eight cancer-fighting foods, colorful berries, leafy greens, cruciferous vegetables, whole grains, fatty fish, garlic and onions, turmeric, and our top pick, green tea. Each one plays a role in supporting your health and reducing your cancer risk. Remember, even small changes in your diet can make a big difference. Try adding one or two of these foods to your meals each day. So, which of these cancer-fighting foods will you add to your next meal? Let us know in the comments below, we'd love to hear from you. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest health tips. Also, don't forget to check out our merchandise, and consider sending us a super thanks. Your support helps us continue creating valuable content for our community. Thank you for watching, and take care of your health.